Hello guys, it's me Simu Orohara. In, in this short video, I want to talk about one of the characters that Kobo didn't much focus on, except in some events related to the Shinigami Research and Development Institute. We are talking here about Akon. The main reason why I wanted to make this video, it is mainly because uh, I know a lot of fans only watched the anime and didn't read the manga. They don't know a very important information that was mentioned about Akon's background. This information was mentioned in volume 36 and for some reason the anime didn't show that part in the anime we only saw that Akon joined the, the technical institute after it was formed by Orohara Kiski and through that flashback we had a clue on how Akon became the right hand of Mayuri of course if we go back to the events of the story and precisely to the members of the technical institute you may have this the idea that Akon appears to be the most human characters over there unlike Mayuri for example who looks Looks like a mad scientist who sacrifices everything for the sake of science or through this picture it seems to you that the most of the members are a group of mad men that obsessed with scientific experiments while Akon seems to be the mentally balanced person over there but the truth is Akon may be the closest person to Mayuri in his scientific madness more than anyone else how is that simply because Akon was also a prisoner in the nest of maggots at the same time when Mayuri was there yes this cute boy he was imprisoned in the nest of maggots and I'll show you the scene in which Akon appeared. So, in this scene we see Kiski and Yuri have entered inside the nest of maggots. While Orohara Kiski was talking to her about the reason for the prisoners being there, if you notice, there is a boy sitting in front of one of the tables and he was doing something there. That boy is Akon, because at the end of the chapter, Kobo drew a sketch showing Akon from another angle, so that we can see his face. And if you notice, he was dismantling a doll as if he was dissecting it and as I told you that scene and even that sketch was not shown in the anime and so the presence of Akon in a, in a prison gave us a several glimpses about his background because as Orohara Kiski said everyone in that prison were a former Shinigami in the Gutei 13 but because of their unusual behaviors which may result uh, a danger whether against their colleagues or against the serity itself they are locked up in this place and from this we can conclude that that the boy Akon, before he was imprisoned, he was in the Gutei 13. We don't know in which squad he was in, but because of his strange behavior, he was put in the nest of maggots. And we don't know who got him out there. It may have been Orohara Kiski, because he knows him and knows his what skills he has, or maybe when Mayuri was a Shinigami, before he gets uh, imprisoned, Akon was with him in the same division and so Mayuri asked Orohara Kiski to bring him out too. Anyway, this all falls within the untold secrets that are related to Mayuri and the real reason why they put him in the nest of maggots. That's why, as I told you, Akon used to have unusual behaviors and perhaps more hideous than others. Especially when we know that he was just a little boy and yet he was a Shinigami within the Gucci 13 and above all of that he was obsessed with science. I imagine if we could see another flashback of Mayuri and, a and Akon, <laughs> I was about to say Akon, before they were imprisoned, surely we would have seen crazy things about them. In the end, Orohara Kiski once again shows his ingenuity in taking advantage of characters who show behaviors that may seem dangerous by placing them in the right place. And one of those characters was Akon, who is now the vice captain of Mayuri. So guys, tell me, in, did you know this information or not? And see you in my next video.